Hey, Bob the Spider Hunter here. Thanks for tuning in again. This is part three of the Black Widow story I've been doing. And today we're releasing the spiderlings back into the woods. So, Mama's in here with her babies and doing just fine. She's currently um, sucking the juice out of a fly. So, I'll give you a quick peek and then I'll let them loose. Now Mama's got this top on with her her uh, silk threading pretty pretty good, pretty tight. So we're going to see if we can pull that off. And she's right at the top. All the babies have exited the egg. And you can kind of see Mom in there, right there, with the egg. The little at the top of the picture is the egg, kind of a paper, brown paper bag color. Almost the same kind of texture as well. So again, on the northern widow, we'll turn her this way, on the widow's back, it's hard to see through the glass, but there's three red dots. And then on the underside of the northern black widow, which you're not going to see through this glass, I doubt, is the hourglass. And the northern hourglass, northern widow's hourglass, is broken right where the narrow part of the hourglass uh, comes together. So, there's the babies and mama. You get a little better picture of that uh, underneath her. There's her, her little hourglass. And you can see all the babies over to uh, the one side. Um, they don't turn black, shed black like the mom or dad until they get uh, a little more mature. Right now they're kind of a reddish color. So I'm going to be releasing these guys to the woods. I don't know who will get out first, mama or babies. We'll see who's, who wants to come out first. Let me just come in one more time through the top and give you a better close-up view of mom. Remember who's eating the fly. There she is. And her babies all over the place in here. If you look real close at her egg, you'll see a hole in it. That's how all the babies emerged. Right through that little hole on the side of her egg. And the red marking you see on her uh, black shiny body there, that's the colors from her top side on her abdomen. There's usually three red marks right in a row. And then the actual hourglass we really can't see in this positioning because she's got a black fire in there. What I'm going to try to do here is get some of the babies out first and then maybe try mom. Uh, but it, that, that may reverse because mom might get really ticked off here and decide she's going to come out and go after me. Which I don't want. I know you'd like to see that, but uh, I wouldn't want to see that. So I'm gonna go poke in here and see what we can uh, we can come up with. Here come some babies. Can you see all the little babies coming out? Baby Black Widows. And you can see there's some are dropping in their way. Okay, we're going to go and get some more babies out here because some have already headed off to the ground. Mama's on the bottom. So I think we should be able to grab some of these babies out of here pretty easy now without her getting too riled up. And uh, there's babies. I'm just going to put them on my hand here.
you can see how tiny these little guys are. Just itty bitty specks. Here's my wristwatch to give you an example of the size. And there's babies. Some are ballooning, which means they let out some silk threading and take off in the wind. And I gotta tell you, this tickles all these little guys walking on my flesh and tickling my little hairs with all their little eight legs. It tickles. So, there's the baby, Black Widows. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, let's see if we can get Mama out and hold her. By the way, I don't recommend this at home. <laughs> uh, I do it just to show I'm not afraid of the Black Widow because I know she's not out to bite me. But when a Mama has her egg sacs and her babies, not a good time to be messing with her. She's very protective and she will be a very aggressive when it comes to defending her, her young. But we'll bring her out. Um, the young have been hatched and uh, she'll think, well, they're kind of leaving the protective uh, nest area now, so we may have a good opportunity to uh, bring mom out without worry about a bite. Because believe me, I don't want a bite and I don't want to have three days of, a, of severe abdominal cramping. Not fun. Never had it, don't want to have it. Okay. I'm going to try to get real close. Just one last shot here. This gives you a little idea of the, the reddish uh, color that we have going on here, uh, which will eventually turn black. But you can see there are some black areas on these little tiny guys already. But pretty soon all these red bodies will turn uh, a nice jet shiny black. All right, let's see if we can get mom out. It's a good time to shoot mom here because all the webbing's been removed, or at least for the most part. You can see those three red marks on the back of the widow. Um, that's typical for the northern widow. You don't see those red markings on the back of the southern widow, the uh, larger ones to the, in the warmer areas. Um, you just see the hourglass on the back. Now there's another uh, widow that has kind of red-orange uh, spots and some striping. So there are some other widows as well, other than these two main ones. Um, now, uh, I'll see if I can get a shot from underneath her, but she only turns up the back underneath side of her when uh, normally she's in her web. They lay horizontally upside down in the web, and the, the hourglass is to be seen very clearly. All right, I'm going in the jar gonna see if we can coax mom out and uh, here we go I'm gonna try to get her out on my arm and again I'm not trying to grab her I'm just I don't want to get her excited but I'm just presenting my arm as something to walk on that's the whole idea here I'm not gonna try to hold her with my fingers or anything like that and she's she's fighting resisting right now coming out so I don't want to get her too upset here she comes in the bottle there. And she's coming. Now oh, she's going back in. <laughs> she's enjoying the safety of this chair. She's been in here for at least three days, four days now, so she finds her comfort here and comfort level to come out of the jar, especially since you got to remember these spiders don't see very well, light and dark, and that's kind of about it. And outside of their webs, they feel very uncomfortable, and I just removed all our webbing. So she's right now not a very happy camper, I'm feeling very, um, I don't want to say grumpy, but uh, um, just maybe a little um, nervous, let's put it that way. And I don't want her to feel nervous, especially when she's going to come out on my arm. She's starting to come now, and she might come out on the stick, too. We'll just have to see how this all works. Now 
Her nose is all worked up, and that's not a good thing. Well, let's try again. All right, here she comes, oh boy. Settle down, girl, before you come out. Settle down. this time. Here's Mama. And she's running on the ground. So she only stayed on me for just a little bit. Which is okay. It just makes her nervous, so. We'll let her go do her thing, find a new home, make a new web. And babies, well, they're all up here. So, there you have it. Mama Black Widow and her babies. And I'm Bob the Spider Hunter. Thanks for tuning in. That ends this series on the Black Widow. Take care now. Bye. See all those little babies coming out? Baby black widows. And you can see there's some are dropping in their webs. They're right the camera. You want to rescue the camera? Because I got a little bad about your camera. I didn't break it. It's still recording. It's like yeah. still recording. How's it